Thank you for joining us again today. We have another good video for you. We are going to show you a little clip of what happened on Friday night for our dinner, a reptile dinner. We thought a bunch of people would come. We saw a good group. Uh, a few people backed out the last minute, which is fine, but uh, just to show you guys some of the fun, we'll be doing that as well as talking a lot about equipment. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so Friday night was good. We had a lot of fun. Got a lot of people come out. Um, some people came and left, and uh, yeah, we didn't really video a lot. So here's a little clip of what happened, and uh, hopefully you guys will be there at the next one. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. We had to find a watch. All right, so uh, that, what, are we, at, what are we doing? Are we at the dinner or what? The big, bigger hunger using dark side. The bigger one. Are we here? So we'll Did we do it? Got it. We need a long one. A couple people at the dinner. <laughs> I've been contemplating on what I want to do in the office because like the start of the up there. I was thinking Cow. about getting some, some baby chondros again to raise up and then R and B koi fish. Here we are. <laughs> That's the place, man. <laughs> There's gotta be a better sign. Where's a better sign? So uh, a lot of people have been asking for your autograph lately. I don't even know what to do. I'm a nobody. We really did have a lot of fun over at Mission Barbecue where we meet a bunch of people. It's easy for us uh, just to have everybody sit down and we had a good time. And as always, we ended up closing the place out and they gave us <laughs> some food at the end there uh, just to try to get us out the door, I think. But uh, we just really enjoy hanging out with everybody and talking reptiles, talking snakes, seeing what everybody's doing. And we had a lot of good friends and a lot of good fun. So next time, make sure you guys show up and we'll let you know when it is. Thanks. All right guys, so Ryan is stuck at work and he was supposed to be here to do this video with us and he couldn't. So I'm gonna be talking about equipment. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. Our skinks are uh, waking up. What are you looking at? You ready? And we're gonna start talking about equipment. So I wanna know what you guys use in your reptile room. Uh, what kind of racks you use, what other types of accessory equipment you use, uh, things that you hang around, and uh, you know maybe some artwork or anything that you guys have in your rooms. Can you just tell us what you guys use to make your place your own place? All right, and I'm gonna show you guys what we use. First of all, make sure you guys have some props uh, <laughs> hanging around. This is Steve Irwin, Adventures uh, with Bob Vu. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Adventures with Steve. Check it out on Facebook. We won't open this because we're not savages, apparently. That's what Ryan tells me. Okay. So, first I want to show you guys a couple of the hooks that we use. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So here's a couple of the smaller hooks. We've had this one for a really, really long time. Uh, it's a wooden handle. And it uh, has a little spring action on there. And it's a, just a nice hook for smaller reptiles for smaller snakes and it is from Midwest tongs so also this little red guy here is for the tiny ones for colubrids and little things if you just need something to uh, help move some animals around this is a fun one just if you want to touch the head to make things head shy um, it's really cool and also again this is from Midwest tongs and these guys make some pretty good equipment and we use a couple of their hooks also, you guys know that we have Get Hooked hooks. So this one says RMB Reptiles on it. Uh, we actually have a few of their hooks because, well, we just keep on buying them. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got our name on some of them. So that's pretty cool. And don't forget, tomorrow we will be drawing to see who won a Get Hooked hook that has RMB Reptiles on it. So. Those are our hooks that we use and for all those dangerous animals. We also have one of these guys, also from Midwest Tongs. And I'll show you how we use it. We have to get in here and get one of these dangerous, dangerous snakes. 
Oh boy. I got, almost, almost got it. Almost. Uh -huh. And look how big this one is. Sometimes you just need to make sure you have the right equipment for the right animals. The dangerous ones, you know. These big ant hills. They use these big hooks for them. Can't get my head in there. The snake is so small. <laughs> I mean big, it's huge and dangerous. Rah. I also use little things like this. And of course, everybody needs a bucket. Make sure you get your buckets here. There's r and Reptiles tape on it. Make sure you get them. We'll uh, sell r and Reptiles taped buckets. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but make sure that you uh, have a bucket. Because uh, do you guys use buckets? You have to. We dump all of our water into buckets. So we'll take one of these buckets. We'll take our waters. As you guys know, we use deli cups. I grab one from somebody. How about from this tide girl here? Let's take our water, dump it in the water bucket. We recycle these. We that made it. And then we take another one and we put it back. We fill it up with our hose. What do you think? Did that work? Do you like it? Do you like having the water? Seems cute, right? One of our pie girls. She likes that we change her water. I like that we change her water. Hmm. Next, I want to show you guys, we use wipes. I don't know if you guys use any uh, products to clean. We do a, we find that these baby wipes are really useful, fragrant free. And so basically it's a saline solution. Um, it's obviously very safe it's safe for the animals it's safe for your baby so these work out well just for doing those quick cleanings for us which we use most of the time and we try to do deep cleans with you know an animal friendly soap or solution that really cleans up all the other mess that you might have from uh you know your snakes what do you guys use next when we have to put things on paper we use a big roll of craft paper and uh, I just filled it. So sometimes I get a little crazy and you, you know, you just pull some out. Rip it and you can do stuff with it. Ryan's not here so don't tell him that I did that. It's a little bit of a waste. Uh, just hide that. Okay, another point of contention for people is what kind of gloves do you wear? So, I don't know, some people do wear gloves, some people don't. Uh, we do, and um, we do with, whenever we're cleaning, we don't have to really do it when we're holding our clean animals, but they can get messy, and so we use gloves. Um, I usually order them off of the internet, <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you guys know of any really good deal on some nitro gloves, um, we would love to hear it. But we definitely go through a bunch of gloves. And we use the thick ones, usually around eight mil. Is that right? Sure. We usually use a six mil to eight mil, <laughs> something like that. So a little bit thicker than just a super thin like medical glove. But uh, these ones are meant for mechanics. They seem to work really well. We like them because they have a bit of a grip. Some of them can be a little too slick for us and we can't grip things well. But uh, another thing that we like to do with these is if you just put a little bit of water on them, you can help shed out a snake. So you can rub a snake and help the shed to come off. But it's one of the tips. <laughs> Guys, this is a little bit more difficult to do without Ryan. So this is one of our thermostats. It is a Vivarium Electronics VE300. Um, this is what we use for all of our racks. You can use the 200 or the 300. We suggest uh, 200 or 300. The 100s work just fine. However, um, 
we just don't choose to use those ones as much but this is what we use what do you guys use as your thermostat i know that we've uh looked into a few and we probably will be adding a few different ones coming up here but this is what we currently use all right next i'm going to show you uh you know our racks a lot of people have a lot of different racks people build their own and uh, we'd love to see some of your racks. So if you guys can show us, that'd be great. Um, or you can take a look at what we got. So we have a couple racks, but we have this one from ARS. This one, we're keeping the skinks in, but we're building our own. Um, and those ones should be done soon. Hopefully we'll be giving you guys a video about that. And this rack, Ryan is like, you know, trying to get rid of or something, but I'm like, hey, why don't we just keep some big snakes in there? So why don't you guys vote? Should we keep it and, you know, have some big snakes or should we get rid of it and cry ourselves to sleep every night? I'm just saying. Okay, in the other racks, we have a bunch of sea serpent racks. So these are the adult sea serpent rack. Um, and we put our snakes on paper for right now, checking them out. Let's uh, see if there's one on top. But we like these. This one's in shed. A little bit of water in there. So what about this girl? She's not in shed. All right, and she didn't mess up the bin. There you go. So, Chris's racks don't come with these holes in the bins. We do that for extra ventilation. That really depends on where you are located, if you want to do that or not. It's something that maybe you want to try and then, uh, you know, adjust as you go. So try your bin without any holes and then add a couple, then a couple more and see how it work out. We also use these deli cups, as you know, with four inch couplings here, PVC couplings. They fit right in, just like that. And you just pop them and dump them and then refill them. Uh, I mean, replace the dish and then refill the water. <laughs> so these things slide in really nice and easy. These are sea serpent racks. Okay. If you can see inside the rack, there's heat tape for belly heat. And you see the cord going out. The, this is the top rack, top slot. So there's heat tape that runs along the belly and it is underneath. So there's a cutaway or recess for the heat tape. And you can see that the bins don't rub on it. it go, the bins glide right over top, but yet it'll keep the belly heat on. So it's a really nice feature. We really enjoy them. We have this guy here. We have these ones. Go all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> Yep, and these are the 28 quart. Yeah, of course. Hey, look. Oh, you already have some key in there. Well. Slide in nice and neat. Um, they come with, or you can get them with uh, casters on the bottom. You can see here and they work really well for what we want we also have all these baby racks which there is a couple missing because they're out for cleaning and some clue grids over here these ones aren't hooked up because the temperature doesn't need to be just room temperature. So look, there's Japanese forest rat snake. Doing just great. And the sea serpents rack. So that's what we use. Sea serpents racks with a dragon on top. And uh, <laughs> a bunch of stuff like that. Yes. All right, we have some big bins for our pro cocoa. Let's see, stock a bunch of it, have it ready to go. A little hanger, shout out to Ryan for our hose. 
And yeah, that's our room. We have a fan in here. We have, you know, all different sorts of odds and ends, trash cans, step stool. We have a couple of even these bins here. Seems like our rhino rat snakes do well in here. We need them off heat. And uh, with our other clubrids moving up, I think we're gonna switch to a big rack for these ones as well. So, yep, and some more adult bins. Have a little bit of humidity on the outside, but they are looking great. So, and of course, we have our big incubator. What do you guys use for your incubators? Ours is an old freezer, a bunch of stickers on it. And we ran some heat tape. We do have a video where we show off how, to, how we made this. We have some heat tape in there, a bunch of wires, some probes, and a little fan that can run for a bottle of water. And that's it. It's pretty much all the equipment we use. We have a bunch of our stickers on our own fridge. So, uh, yeah. Some artwork. Thank you, Siri. Thank you, US Arc. Um, what other stuff do you guys have around your room? Hmm. Bunch of odds and ends. I think everybody needs to have a heat gun. 75 degrees on the metal table. We have this metal cart here. Let's see here. So we can look at some of these. 78 on the front. Oh, 77. Not so bad. In the front of the bin. And let's check to see what they are in the back. Eighty-six. It's not so bad. Right around that area there. Should always have a heat gun. That's good for cats. Meow. We have a big whiteboard, but I can't show you everything that's on it because it's all top secret. It's all of our pairings, actually. And uh, any notes that we need to write to each other, actually. We really appreciate you guys staying around and watching our videos. It's a huge humbling experience for us. And I really wish Ryan was here. We're gonna definitely have to show you guys what we do for New Year's Eve for the snakes. So uh, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. That one will be on Friday. But also we'll be talking about who won the snake hook. And uh, yes, yeah, so you guys will be seeing that. That was from a couple of videos ago. So thank you so much. Make sure you guys like this video. If you did like it, uh, if you didn't like it, you don't have to hit the like, I guess. But also hit the subscribe button as well as hitting that notification bell. It really helps us out. And let us know what you guys think and what kind of equipment you guys use. Also, let us know where you guys are from. We love hearing that kind of stuff as well. So make sure you comment below and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Hey guys, waking up. Just give you a little bit of food. Where are you going over there? Hmm? What are you doing? Stepping around stuff? It smells like food in here. Um, alright. Maybe you're not ready to just like run into my arms or anything. Hello, miss. Hi. What are you doing? You have a little bit of food on your mouth. Little schmuckus. Hmm. 
Waking up, getting ready for breeding, huh? Huh? Chomp, 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 chomp. We're gonna use a little stuff like this. Didn't work. Gotta have lots of toys. I'm gonna show this, even though Ryan's not here to tell me no. Hmm. Send your pictures to dear old Captain Noah. Hey, hey little guy. Hmm. 